Our next guest grew up on TV. He played Chris on Everybody Hates Chris. Now he has grown up in a substitute teacher everybody loves in Abbott Elementary. You never told us your favorite pizza place. Oh, I should sit this one out. I'm more of a Baltimore-style pizza guy. Ooh, Baltimore pizza. I've never heard about that. What makes it so different? you never heard of Baltimore style? Mm. Oh, it's it's great. It's um really crunchy and like wet. Wet? Yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 um it's great. Next time you're there, go to um Say Cheese. Say Cheese Pizza. It's they soak it, it's like sopping, it's Mm. Watch Abbott Elementary Tuesday nights on ABC. Please welcome Tyler James Williams. Boy, you know, uh, I, there was, I learned today and I realized because I've been watching Abbott Elementary and I think really? you're just great on it. Thank and you. the show itself is great. Thank you, thank you. And I was thinking, like, oh, boy, I feel like I know him, and but I didn't look it up, and they're like, oh, yeah, you were the kid on yeah. Everybody Hates Chris. Yeah, 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 no, we've met before. Yeah, you yeah. were here. I was, yeah, I was here. As a yeah. kid, like, 17 years ago. Yeah, well, okay, it's not your fault. I also did not remember. I don't remember much from that time. Is that true, you don't? Me. No, no, I was 13. It was like, you yeah. know, pick a random day of you being 13. You're totally right. That makes total sense to me, because you can remember, like, maybe, like, six things from when you were 13, right? Maybe. Maybe. Like I a remember. birthday gift, if you're reminded. Maybe, maybe, maybe that. I mean, for me, it was like, I remember a press tour, which you were a part of. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> I got some really good Jordans that year. Really good. I got some threes that I really love. Who gave you those? Um, I think I stole them from set. <laughs> I stole them from set. And I had a show come out that was really successful. But that's all I got. That's, right, that's, all, yeah. that's, all, that's all I got. And, uh, and of course, you know, when you're Kid actor, you have to have three names. It's part yes. of the law. It's yes. written in the law. Yeah, it's in my Although, contract. Then Zendaya came around, and she blew that out of the water with yeah. only one name. She didn't even bother with the second but name. But it's interesting. I mean, Tyler is just not enough. It just doesn't do it. Tyler James Williams is a strong, strong name. Strong name. My it's... parents expected me to be president. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you got every president represented <laughs> there in that those names. All of them, Sometimes yeah, yeah. doubling up even, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. No, they did it with my brothers as well. And now we just have to go on to do really successful things. Otherwise, it feels like a waste. Uh, what do your brothers do? Actors. Oh, they're actors, also actors too. Actors. Also actors. It's like, like our family business. It's interesting. We're really chill about it, but everybody else is. Impressed. Are your parents actors? No, no. Oh. My parents. Um, my father teaches now. He's a professor, but he used to be a cop. He retired. Um, and my mother is a counselor. Oh wow! How yeah. about that? Okay, yeah. so it's the new family business. It's the new family business. Now. Yeah. Yes. No. We expect everybody afterwards to build on this. A cop and a counselor. <laughs> yeah. Um, does, is it hard to like have fun when your father is a police officer? <sighs> It's not hard to have fun. It's just some of the things that other people enjoy, we don't really get a chance to enjoy. Like um, like cop shows, for example. We don't really get a chance to enjoy those because he's just watching going, yeah, none of this would happen. Oh, yeah, right. Like, <laughs> Stabler would have got arrested a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is, throw him away. Does it feel strange for you to, uh, you were on a sitcom, obviously, mm -hmm. and now uh, that was kids, and now you're the adult on a sitcom that has a lot of kids on it. Yeah, it's very, very bizarre, because I still feel like a child, is the thing. Uh -huh, I still feel right. like the youngest person on set, but now there's, like, actual children there. Um, and I've had to, like, develop my dad voice. What is the dad voice? You know the dad voice. Um, everyone's dad has a voice that he uses. It's not, there's never full sentences. It's like one word in a period. It's like, hey, now, stop. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> It's all in the eyebrows as well. It's the whole thing. <laughs> I like that. And so do you do that? Is that something that you will do to, with the kids on I have, the Yeah, because yeah. you know, it's still kind of like we have a classroom of kids. You know what I mean? They don't mm -hmm. really tell the difference between us as just people or actual teachers. Like, we have no actual uh, <laughs> right. power over them at all. But they think we do. <laughs> they really they think what we say goes. Um, yeah. So yeah, I have to pull that out. And like, it's wild, because I have no kids. So I'm developing this for them, and I've gotten, like, mainly eyebrows is my thing now. Because, like, you can't just yell over and over again. Eventually they hear that. So if you just give a, like, 
<laughs> They'll calm down. They'll calm down. That works, yeah. Really That'll does. work for a while. For yeah. a little bit. And then we'll yeah. see what happens for season two. I've been yeah. new stuff. These kids, a lot of the kids are not professional actors, right? No. They just kind of... I think that's what makes it work. That's yeah, what makes I do it work. Too. They're I just, think, they're yeah. kids that were in school months ago that Quinta, like, you know, you've had Quinta here. She's mm -hmm. she's really committed to the authenticity she, of this. Oh, I like, love... Yeah, she, the details Philly. are... Beautiful. Beautiful. And they're like learning the industry, which is nice to be like a, a, a gap to bridge. You know, I used to be in that position, so I can explain to you know, our producers, like, they know what we're doing. They know what's going on. Um, if you explain it to them, there may be like careers that come out of this. You know, I think people underestimate what kids are capable of. Yeah. You, uh, did you know Quinta before this? I did. I actually did. We did um, a Black Lady sketch show together. Oh, okay. All right. Together so you did that. get to know her then. Yeah, we yeah. did. And then um, this came about. Uh, she DM'd me. That's how it happened. Uh -huh. the, the deal went down in the DMs, like the entire thing. Really? Yeah, yeah, no. So you said yes to being on the show based on a direct message? Yeah, just from a Twitter DM. Yeah, that's really how it was. She hit me and she was like, hey, um, I've got this pilot. I threw your name in the pitch package. Hope you don't mind. I'm like, yeah, why not? I'm not doing anything. And here we are. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty, I mean, that's yeah. fantastic. Are you... Do you, I hope you don't mind me asking you, are you doing anything for Valentine's Day? Do you have a plan after this? I'm here. That, <laughs> it's really wonderful. Good to be here. Well, you didn't bring me you. flowers. So. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I wanted to change it up. You know, I guess the candies for you in the back. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's very you're welcome, sweet. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, no, I'm not really doing much uh, for it. My you know, dating for me has always been weird. Is it? Have you ever cried on a date like Seth did? No. No? No, no. That's a unique story. Yeah. I, I wish nothing but the best for him and his therapist. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Maybe your mom could sit down with <laughs> That's him. That's what I'm going to recommend my mom, to talk to his mom, and we'll, we'll get it all together. Um, no, it's just been kind of weird, because, like, I've always been on TV. Like, my entire dating history since 13 on has been with people knowing me and my work, right. you know, very intimately. Oh, yeah. Like, most yeah. people wait until they meet their parents to see, like, baby pictures. All of mine is up there. It's out. Like, they've seen all of my awkward phases every time my voice cracked. Like, it's all out there, so it sets this weird imbalance for me in my life. I'm still trying to work through that. Maybe you gotta find someone who's never watched TV, you know? Maybe an Amish girl. Do you, I was about to say, do you have any friends <laughs> that you would like to messenger a pigeon to me with, <laughs> to get involved? You know what, I actually have somebody in mind for you. She's 83 years old. Fantastic. Um, but she churns butter like nobody else. I mean, she's terrific. Yeah. That's applicable in a lot of ways. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to have you here. The show's great, uh, and you do you. a great job on thank it. You. If you haven't seen it yet, Abbott Elementary, Tuesday nights, 9 o'clock here on ABC. <laughs> Tyler James Williams, everybody. I'm back with the AJ and Al. Allie and AJ. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.